Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to set up my December monthly budget. So just want to give you guys a little overview of November. Um, this is where we are. I did not do Bible study this morning. Y'all last week absolutely took me out. So I told you guys that I wasn't gonna be working last week because I had so much to do. I did end up going to Louisiana for a couple days, came back on Thanksgiving. Monday, I ended up going to my parents' house to help my mom and my sister clean their house because um, they did have Thanksgiving at their house. So that was like an all evening, afternoon situation. I did have an appointment on Tuesday and I actually got booked with a new lash technician and she took like almost three hours. So that was exhausting. So last week was a lot. This week has been much calmer, much smoother, not as hectic. Um, but I'm gonna set up my December um, calendar and budget with you all. So the December stickers are currently no longer available. I did try to make announcements everywhere, um, reminding you all that these stickers would be deactivating after Black Friday. Thank you guys so much. If you purchase from the Black Friday sale, I'll give you guys a couple updates on that in a few. So the December stickers are not available, but January stickers are. So this is the kit that I'm gonna be using. This is the hot cocoa kit. Um, this is the new dashboards for Aaron's 2024 monthly planners. And this is the second January kit. It is the happy new year kit. So these stickers are available if you haven't been able to pick them up and they will continue to be available. And this is my 2024 budget planner. I'm so excited. Every other year I kind of switch back and forth. Like I'll, it's like one year I'll get more of a like pink theme. And then the following year I'll do like a more neutral, like a black planner. So I am gonna be in black next year. So I'm gonna come to the back and grab all of my stickers from my pocket here. I won't need them all. Um, so we'll just take out the ones that I will need. For the sake of time, I did go ahead and fill in my bills and things already for you guys. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of stickers that I like to use in my planner so let's just get into it and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos i do live um near a main street so you might hear zooming cars or trucks if so i apologize so my rent and utilities are due on the first of the month i also have my health insurance that is due, I'm actually just gonna scoot it over a little bit so it's not blocking the um, the number and it's fine if it covers that dot. Um, so my health insurance is, I round up my bills, my health insurance is $6 a month and my um, dental and vision insurance is like 20, I think almost $30 a month. So that's why in total, my health dental vision insurance is about 30, six dollars a month i believe um so just wanted to give you guys that update and if you are wondering i did get my health insurance from um, the marketplace from healthcare.gov so if you are in need of affordable health insurance i highly recommend it was recommended to me by one of my subbies she sent me the link um and this is my budget planner, it's not really, so I am gonna cover up these holidays. Sorry, not sorry. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, tried to see what else did I wanna say about the health insurance. Oh yeah, so before, before I was recommended for healthcare.gov, which is the marketplace, um, I was getting my like own insurance from like just an independent provider, I guess. I did have United Healthcare. Um, now I have Aetna, but before that I had United Healthcare. 
and um, it was extremely expensive. Like just to have like some decent insurance, it was costing me like a few hundred dollars a month. It was like the price of a car note. I was like, I don't have a car note and I feel like I'm paying a car note because that's how expensive this is. So I just kind of felt like there had to be like better options out there for me, but I just wasn't sure what that was, but I was praying on it. God answers prayers through people, through all sorts of means. So yeah, I just called them and they're able to let you know like what you qualify for, like what subsidies and things like that you were able to qualify for based on your situation. So when I was teaching, I think my insurance was about the same. I was paying about $40 a month, maybe a little less. So, and they, the marketplace does have um, major medical health insurance because it is subsidized by the government. So it most, most, um, most providers will accept it. So if you need some insurance or you know someone who needs insurance, go ahead and let them know about that. Okay, 27, I think we're almost done here. Because of the health insurance, my bills have increased, but I will be paying my taxes off in the month of December, God willing. So that'll be a debt slash another bill that I will no longer have. So those are all of the bills. Okay, next I'm gonna move on to events. And the only real events I have this month, um, other than like, you know, Christmas, Christmas Eve, is I just want to remember to attend Bible study. So it worked out really well in the month of November, me putting these stickers down to remind me um i think i had four or five stickers and i think i went to bible study like three times maybe two two or three which is an improvement because i wasn't attending bible study at all but i was like this is getting ridiculous but it's just like i'm not very um i don't do very well with like virtual um teachings and things like that like even when i was in college I was good as an online student if it was self-paced, but if it was like, oh, you have to log in, watch the professor give lectures, like that was not happening. So I'm just not a very good virtual student. I do much better in person. And right now our Bible studies are not in person. So I don't think I will probably do Bible study this um, Wednesday just because it's right after Christmas. So I'm gonna leave it blank, but then I still have the extra one here if I need it. So next we could do um, the paydays. So I do get paid every Tuesday and Friday from my shops. Um, I'll put this right here. So for the Black Friday sale, I think someone, I'm actually gonna put this up here. I have to put a birthday sticker down. I think someone um, asked me about like when things will begin shipping. So um, you guys uh, may or may not know if you're new, but I all for every sale that I have, I always put the processing time at three to four weeks um, because that's about the longest it will take me to start getting orders out. I do anticipate getting the orders out in the next two to three weeks and that is mainly due to the week before i took off which was this week right here that i took off this week the week before i took off i did a lot of work uh, i worked a lot to get my cues down to zero and the cues are rarely ever at zero. And if they do get to zero, get to zero, they don't stay at zero. Um, but the, the queue was super, super, super low. So my last few years, a couple years during doing Black Friday, I've had to like do orders that came in before Black Friday and Black Friday orders. But this year that I don't have that issue. I don't have any more pre Black Friday orders to do. So all I have is Black Friday. 
My mom also helps me. So she is um, a helping hand with the Black Friday order. So I do anticipate being done with them sooner this year than the previous years. So there's an update on that. I'm gonna always, you know, if anything changes, make announcements on my website as well as all my social platforms. So, okay, I have a hair appointment on the 21st at nine o'clock a.m. And I'm actually just going to get my hair straightened and, um, and cut. It needs to be cut. It is too long for me and I need to get it cut. So I'm doing that on the 21st. And I will get go to the nail shop. Um, so I'll be using my nail stickers. I just don't know exactly when. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to groceries and church. So um, I use my little grocery stickers, y'all, <laughs> to motivate me to grocery shop because I don't always feel like it. I like to cook, but I don't like to grocery shop. But my stickers are a nice little motivator. Um, and I'll just, I don't think I really checked them off last month. Let me see. I did three times. So I missed the last week. So this is what I do with my grocery stickers, guys. I just, every week that I grocery shop, I check it off. And so it's kind of like a little incentive to see that I got it done. It like motivates me um, to keep going with that. Oh, and also if you are wondering, I am only going to have four um, paychecks this month, even though we have a longer month, I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Although I'm getting paid on the 29th, um, this paycheck, let me see. Yes, this week's paycheck is going toward January. January. So you guys are going to see me set up my paychecks and you're not going to see me set up a fifth paycheck. I know a lot of people have like a third paycheck this this month and things like that. I am only going to um, technically have four because technically my fifth one is going toward January. So the way I do that is um, whatever expenses are being paid with that check, whatever month that is, that's where the check goes. So even though I'm getting paid in the fifth week of December, I'm not gonna be paying December expenses with that check. I'm gonna be paying January expenses. So that's why I do it like that. You totally don't have to, like it's just whatever works best for you. And in my three years of doing this, that's just how it works for me. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to church on Christmas Eve or not. Are y'all gonna go to church on Christmas Eve? Let me know. I have no idea if I'm going or not. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I probably will go to church on New Year's Eve. That's that's a thing. I'm going to leave Christmas Eve open because I don't know like what my family might be doing. So we'll just do it like that. Okay, so the last sticker that I'm going to need to complete my calendar is going to be... Um, my birthday stickers. So I just have one birthday this month. That is my big cousin. She's one of my favorites. So I do not want to forget her birthday. And all of my icon stickers and things are deactivated in the shop until the 18th, but um, everything will be back on the 18th. So I have a couple notes to put over here in my sidebar. So my main priorities that I need to take care of this month is going to be to renew my renter's insurance. And I am gonna zoom in guys once I get to the budget part um, so that I will be zooming in. And then I have to remember to renew 
my health insurance. So although I did just get my health insurance, my health insurance is actually active for this year. So I can use it to go to the doctor now. Um, but I have to renew it for 2024. So that's another good thing with the marketplace is that once you get your insurance and they, um, you know, once you get set up with that, it is um, like instantly activated. So the last two things I'm gonna put is I did not get to get uh, work on my retirement rollover and then edit my student loans. So I need to do that this month. Okay, also I did forget some things guys, sorry. I need to notate that I'm going to, and I just keep all my stickers in my back pocket of this planner. So I know it looks a hot mess right here, but I'm gonna stack them all together and make them nice and neat um, and put them in the pocket at the back. So, okay. I also keep up with how much I, I spend on coffee outside of my home. And I just put that over here on the side and I'll put the amount and I keep track of my no, I think I had another one. I don't know. We'll go with this one. I keep track of my um, no spend days, how many of those I have a month as well. So we'll put that one here. And I did not get a massage. That was my self care activity for last month y'all i put it over here y'all can see that but i didn't actually get one because my masseuse was out of the country so she doesn't come back until um what's today 29th yeah she comes back tomorrow so i'm going to have to get my massage in this month and she's like a holistic type of masseuse. She does like holistic therapy and, you know, heat and cups and all that good stuff. Okay, now our calendar is done. Now we can move on to the budget. Okay guys, one more thing that I forgot to put in the calendar, which is super important, is going to be our annual Christmas sale in my shop. So if you just um, came into the All Things Plan family this year, the Christmas sale is my favorite sale of the year and it's my favorite sale of the year because I feel like it's kind of a way for me to like give back to you guys. So what I do is I collect inventory throughout the year um, from the shop. So some of the things that I collect are things that um, like when I come out with new products, I, I'm just checking the view. When I come out with new products, I have to, you know, make them in advance so that you guys can um, see what they will be. And then I have to take pictures and things like that. But I end up not using it, so it just collects in a drawer. Yeah, it just ends up collecting um, like in, in a drawer. Also, I work with like vendors throughout the year and like trying out new things, testing new things to see um, what you know, what new things I might be able to bring to um, the shop that you guys may like. And so I'll get some products from vendors that, you know, are just for like sample purposes and those end up collecting in a drawer. Um, packages do get lost throughout the year. So um, for instance, I had a customer from Canada that bought something from me and her package never made it to her. So, you know, we worked with uh, USPS and all that. And what we end up doing, or what I end up doing in those situations is I will either send the customer a new product, um, just, just ship them a new, a new product, or I will refund them. So those packages, those lost packages, they eventually do end up back in my PO box. Um, so, yeah. So for the Christmas sale, 
what I end up doing is instead of, you know, these things just accumulating in my house or my, my apartment over the year, instead of me just like throwing these things away, throwing away some good products, products that either have never been used or, you know, I, I, I will also sell my gently used products as well, like envelopes and stuff I have used throughout the year, but they're like, you know, no damages. Instead of just throwing all this stuff away, I'm just like, why don't I just make a Christmas sale and sell this stuff for like $2, $3. And then that's a way for you guys to get some new envelopes. I will sell wallets. Obviously the wallets are more than two or three dollars, but um, because in those packages, like I think I opened up my packages the other day, the ones that got lost throughout the year. And it, was, it wasn't many. Um, I ship out probably a thousand packages a year, maybe even more, I don't know. And I think I only had maybe seven, seven or eight packages that came back to me. So um, my delivery rate is very high. Um, but like four of the packages had wallets in it, wallets that sold out that I don't have anymore. So those will be in the Christmas sale. So um, yeah, so that sells on the 18th. So also I do have like a couple of pink wallets that have like a broken button that obviously I don't, you know, sell. And I'll put those wallets on sale for like $5 if you don't mind the button being broken, but like everything else works. So that is the Christmas sale in a nutshell. <laughs> I'm not going to just completely go on a tangent about that because I am going to make a separate video for you guys um, to show you exactly what will be in the sale. That's another thing I do is I make a dedicated video showing you guys every single product that will be in the sale. So if you're interested in something, you can see it beforehand. I also decided this year that during the Christmas sale, the grab bags and my digital downloads will be like 50% off, um, which I actually am sold out of grab bags. You guys bought them all in the Black Friday sale. So um, I honestly don't know what that situation is gonna look like for the Christmas sale. Like I have a few stickers left over, but I don't know if it's enough to, um, you know, make it into a, a, make it into bags. So we'll see. But if I don't have any grab bags for the Christmas sale, my, um, my digital downloads, I'm gonna put those at 50% off. So you guys can grab, if you need like cash trackers or you want some, um, saving challenges things like that those will be 50 percent off so it's my favorite sale of the year because i just love being able to mark things down so super super low and then like see the seeing the orders come in is really fun and because the christmas sale things are already like made um if you don't buy other things with your order if you just buy something from the christmas sale I usually get that stuff out super fast. So you pro probably may even get it by Christmas. Um, but I make no promises. Okay, so I don't know if I told you guys that net Netflix is going up on me. It was like $11, like $10.90, $10.80 something. And now it's like, I think going up to $12.99. So, and then my car insurance, or no, cell phone is 100, car insurance is 100. Apple Music is 13, Wi-Fi is 31, taxes is 65. I don't know my electricity yet. I'll get that um, in about a week or so. Last month, it was $104, which was such a big improvement from the previous months. Okay, so we're down to additional expenses. And this is just additional places where my money is going throughout the month that is not classified under a variable expense or a bill. So my sinking funds, and I'm expecting to put 288 in my sinking funds. Um, our Christmas challenge, or our December challenge rather, I'm gonna get that out really quickly. So I have not completed November yet. I just decided to go ahead and stuff the last November when I do my cash stuffing this Friday so you guys can see that. So I have a uh, 70, $71 left to put in November. 
and then this is the December challenge so the December challenge we are stuffing 186 um what's next so like I told you guys my minimum tax payment that is due is the where is it at $65 but I do want to pay my taxes off this year so that I do not go into because th these are taxes for 2022 so I don't want to go into 2024 still paying 2022 taxes that's insane so after I pay my 65 my balance will be 241 okay then I put Christmas only because my Christmas sinking fund is not looking too hot. Um, I had very much like a spending spirit in the months of my birthday and the month after. So I spent a lot of money out of these envelopes. And so I do not have a lot of money um, in Christmas at all, like 135. I don't need a lot of money because we pull names. We don't buy gifts for everybody in our family. We have a big family, so we just pull names. But I do want to get something for my goddaughter, my niece, my best friend and his wife just had a new baby boy and I want to get something for him. So I don't know that that's going to be enough. So I don't have a budget for Christmas yet, but I'm just making a space for it. Next month is Taylor's wedding and I will be going to that. Um, so I need to start making arrangements now i need to buy my plane ticket i need to look into hotel all that so it is at the end of next month next month which i'm grateful for um, but i don't want to wait that long and unbudgeted okay so I don't have a budget for Christmas yet. I don't have a budget for Taylor's wedding yet. The baby boy, my friend's baby, I'm going to, well, I guess he would have a different budget from Christmas. So I'm just going to, um, cause I also missed their baby sprinkle because I had another friend that was doing a housewoman party on the same day and she had already um, planned hers and I had already RSV RSVP'd for hers. And they ended up putting their baby shower on the same day. So I had to, you know, I went to hers because I told her I would go. Um, so I'm going to budget $50 for the baby. My renter's insurance is going to be $278. Um, and that's per year. And then I don't budget anything for unbudgeted. Now we will move on to the paychecks. So again, I am just going to be working with four out of the five December paychecks to actually pay bills and expenses this month. My fifth December paycheck is going toward January. So um, for my paychecks under income, I'm going to be putting take out. So I don't show the income, but I do show how much money I need on a weekly basis, at least to pay for things. Um, so. I am going to, I keep my um, takeout money the same for expected, which is $200. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and set up week, uh, paycheck one with you guys, and then I'll zoom through the rest of the weeks. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put takeout. And obviously, if you are not on social media, um, or even if you are and you're comfortable with showing, you could, you would just show like what your income is. And so for the expenses, the things that I pay for on a weekly basis or put money towards on a weekly basis are my bills, my cash envelopes, which is also the variable expenses. And I'm going to abbreviate sinking funds and saving challenges because I don't feel like writing that out. My buffer envelope. Um, and then any extra spending or unbudgeted expenses. I make a note for that um, for the week.
Next, we'll get into weekly check-in, and this is where I keep track of my variable spending, my spending, gas, groceries, home, eating out, medicine, and beauty, um, tides and laundry, all that's done online. So um, I don't keep, I don't spend those things in cash. So I only keep track of what I spend in cash. Just like the paychecks, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the first week with you guys, and then. Um, after the first week, I'll go ahead and zoom through the rest of it. So the first week of December for me is going to be December 1st through December 7th. And my weekly budgets go from Friday, they start on Fridays, they end on Thursdays. So I recommend however often you get paid, um, that's like how your budget should be. So like if you get paid bi-weekly, um, you could still like track everything on a weekly basis, but like your budget would run for two weeks instead of one. So you would be budgeting out money for these things for two weeks because that's how often you get paid. Um, if you get paid monthly, it's the same. You can still track everything on a weekly basis, but your money would just be for the whole month instead of, you know, for the weeks. Um, so that's how I do that. And you guys know when I do my cash stuffing, I come in and check in through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the rest of it. Okay, y'all, so that is my complete weekly check-in setup spread done. Um, so as you can see, my fourth paycheck for the week is going to end on December 28th, which is just a couple days before the end of the month. So my only consumer debt is my that taxes bill. The only other debt I have after that is um, student loans, and we're just not worrying about that. <laughs> not worrying about that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up so this bill i think it's due on the 21st <laughs> this is my taxes and i'm trying to see if i should leave this blank because i am projecting to pay it off this month but my starting balance is 306 that's where i'm starting for the month of december and usually I'll put like my 65 and I don't have any interest, so that'll be zero. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this blank because I wanna pay it off this month. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that blank. The last things are last thing is my sinking funds. So you guys know that um, I usually give my sinking funds a whole page, but I actually put my financial goals in the back of the planner so i don't have any more room um so i have to consolidate my sinking funds this month so i just decided to go ahead and consolidate them and just do high priority and low priority and we will just tally it all up i'm not able to write them out um like i usually do And so 1408 plus 359 is 1767. Um, my goal for every month is my main priority is the next month's rent. So I'm gonna put January's rent and utilities to do. I have a couple things to do. Um, I think the main thing I want to put here is the TikTok shop. So I do plan on opening up a TikTok shop in 2024, which is technically next month. Um, so I need to work on that. Important, I'm gonna go renter's insurance. Gotta renew that. 
and of course health insurance so that I have health insurance in the new year and then um, I need to work on my retirement account because I've just been procrastinating with that and I know it's already gonna take a couple months for everything to get transferred over so I just really need to get that done and then my cousin's birthday is on the 22nd um, my projects for this month will be the Christmas sale um, and then down here I'm just gonna put finished Black Friday orders that's the priority as well before we move on to anything else I do have some new envelopes coming out in January um, I'm working on them now I actually showed you guys a snippet of one in my IG story so if you're not following me on IG head over there events <laughs> Christmas Christmas Eve those are the only things that I have going on this month I wanted to take a trip this month in December um, but I think that'll be too much on my plate between trying to finish all my Black Friday orders, getting ready for the Christmas sale, trying to set up TikTok shop, Christmas. I think it'll be too much. I don't want to overwhelm myself. So for habits, I always put like Bible study, the um, corporate Bible study with the church, and then my personal devotion. So that is it for my December um, budget with me. A little bit of a plan with me as well because I try to show you guys the complete setup. Um, so again, my December stickers are no longer available. So I apologize if you were not able to pick up, pick them up, but the January kits are available and the February kits will be available on the 18th. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys back on Friday. Bye.